Today we're going to talk about Comet 3i, Atlas, as this may be one of the biggest changes I've seen in this interstellar object. Recently, the comet suddenly started ejecting plasma jets, giving it multiple tails, or jets of gas and plasma, at once. This was spotted in a new observation early on the morning of November 8. Comet 3. I Atlas is currently very close to the sun, having just passed perihelion. You can see it in the sky just before sunrise. But after sunrise, the light is so intense that the comet is hard to see during the day. Observer Michael Joerger has noted that the comet has multiple tails and different jets of plasma, a sign that it is very active. In addition, comet C2025, Fein Borsov, which was spotted around November 2-3, appears to have completely disintegrated. Interestingly, it was discovered between Comet Atlas and Earth. But its orbit was different and not pointed towards Earth. According to calculations, Comet Borsov passed perihelion on November 8, but at that time it disappeared. Meanwhile, Comet Atlas had previously shed helium on October 29, and after being affected by solar wind, radiation, and solar storms, it seemed to wake up and began its most violent phase spewing out many jets of plasma and dust. This suggests that Comet Atlas does not have just one tail, but can form a complex system of tails and jets. Although not as spectacular a phenomenon as Comet A6 Lemon, which also had perihelion around November 16, Atlas is still showing signs of strong and interesting activity all of this will be the main topic in today's video, where we'll dig deeper and do a Q&A on the events that just took place. The sun is currently entering its active maximum, a period when its magnetic field flips, which happens about every 11, 12 years. It's this magnetic flip that causes the sun to release huge amounts of energy, creating a series of plasma storms and violent solar winds that spread across space. Curiously, these storms are heading straight for Comet 3A Atlas, as predicted in July, and actually started erupting on October 21. Images show the energy jets hitting Atlas directly, as if the sun were waking it up in interstellar space. Scientists are now analyzing the interaction between the comet and the plasma jet to determine whether this is just a coincidence or a mysterious connection between the sun and the interstellar object. Is Atlas just a victim or an activated link in the cosmic energy cycle? The latest image of Comet 3, I Atlas, captured by Michael Jerger, has just been released and immediately attracted attention in the astronomy community. The image shows at least five plasma jets erupting from the comet, three of which are clear and two are fainter, forming a structure resembling strange fractal branches. However, what we see is not the real core of Atlas, but only the coma, a cloud of gas and dust that reflects sunlight, completely obscuring the nucleus inside for many months, Atlas has been almost sleeping despite being constantly bombarded by solar storms. But after October, in two, it suddenly wakes up, erupting violently with energy, as if reacting to solar radiation. Data shows that the gases inside the comet begin to evaporate due to the heat penetrating deep, dragging cosmic dust with it at supersonic speeds. When these particles are ionized by light, they create electric currents and plasma waves that surround the comet, forming regions of intense electromagnetic interaction. Some measurements from previous missions have shown that the magnetic field can spike to 300 nanotesla during solar storms. Curiously, one of Atlas's tails points toward the sun. Contrary to the usual pattern, the region around the comet is now filled with plasma waves, ionized dust, 
and slowed solar wind as if it were a living, breathing center of energy, many observers believe that Atlas may not be just a bare mass of ice, but an energy system that is reacting to the universe in ways we still can't understand. New data suggests that comet 3I Atlas is evaporating vigorously, spewing interstellar material deep into the solar system. The problem is, we still don't know exactly where it came from. Some theories suggest that Atlas may have come from a nearby star system, such as Barnard Star. Located in the constellation Sagittarius, only about six light years from Earth, with an initial velocity of about 58 kms, it is entirely possible that it left that system only a few tens of thousands of years ago. But it is also possible that it came from a distant galaxy wandering through interstellar space for billions of years before entering our sun's sphere of influence. What is remarkable is that this object may have carried with it the universe's pristine matter, almost unchanged. For billions of years, floating among the stars, now, as it is heated by the sun, it is spewing out energy and intergalactic plasma dust. An ancient breath that flows into the inner space of the system, we cannot yet know what effect this stream of matter will have on Earth or the entire solar system but many researchers believe it may affect the energy field and natural resonance frequency of the planetary system. Some theories extend to the question of the connection between cosmic matter and biological consciousness. Water, the major component of living organisms, is known for its ability to store energy and information at the quantum level. Experiments on ice crystals have shown that the structure of water can react to energy sound, and even thoughts forming patterns that correspond to emotions or images transmitted to it. If the matter atlas is spewing out also carries this kind of energy, the question is, could it affect the collective consciousness of life in the solar system? The strange coincidence is that during the time of Atlas's activity, Comet Borisov, discovered between Atlas and Earth in early November, suddenly disintegrated. After only a few days of observation, its orbit is completely reasonable, according to the physical model, but the fact that an object briefly appeared and then disappeared between two energy points, Atlas and Earth has made astronomers wonder, is Borisov simply a small comet or a signal, a connecting element? in a series of strange phenomena that are taking place in the next three weeks as Atlas continues to move in its perihelion orbit, many observers believe that we may soon witness a special cosmic phenomenon where physics, energy, and even consciousness intersect to reveal things that science has not yet dared to confirm. Currently, the position of Comet 3i Atlas is behind the sun, making it difficult to directly observe its plasma jets or tail. The view from Earth allows us to see only a small part, slightly off the perfect 180 degree axis. Uh, on October 21, if Atlas had a tail, it would have been completely behind the object, hidden by the sun. However, by November 8, although the view has changed slightly, most of the tail and plasma jets of the comet are still obscured, limiting optical observations. What is remarkable is that the apparent brightness of 3I Atlas has increased beyond predictions. According to observational data from many astronomical groups, the comet's current magnitude is between 9, 0, and 9, S. While the model expected it to be around 11, that means it is nearly five times brighter than predicted. An unusual increase, while the tail is still unclear, this has led researchers to wonder, is Atlas's energy not just focused on creating a traditional dust tail, but also emitted in the form of directed plasma jets, images 
from the CCR-1 and C-3 observatories show multiple jets of light ejected from the sun rather than a single tail, some of these jets even appear at angles to the sun, which is extremely rare. When compared to solar activity data, a remarkable connection emerges. October 21, when Atlas reached a direct alignment between Earth and the sun, coincided with one of the biggest solar storms of the year. Powerful bursts of radiation and plasma waves were released from giant sunspots, mostly in the direction of Atlas. The data show that at least three energy storms swept through the region of space where Atlas was moving, some directly, others flanking it. These energy hits appear to have triggered Atlas's current outburst, making it shine brighter and eject complex plasma streams. As the sunspots continue to rotate, the direction of the energy discharge changes, and Atlas, at the exact intersection, appears to be absorbing and reflecting these plasma waves. This phenomenon has astronomers wondering, is Atlas simply a comet being affected by the solar wind, or is it actively interacting with the sun's energy field? The fact that it is brighter has no distinct detail, but emits a series of directional plasma jets, suggests that this may be a phase of unprecedented energy activity where conventional physics is not enough to explain. The latest model shows that Comet 3I Atlas is entering a phase of intense plasma activity uh, with almost no gravity as volatiles such as CO2 co, CN and water vapor evaporate. They erupt into space at supersonic speeds, quickly ionizing and spreading with the solar wind, causing Atlas to glow brightly and create powerful plasma jets. When impacted by the solar storm, Atlas's plasma is not only swept away, but also interacts electromagnetically with the solar wind turning it into an energetic intersection between interstellar plasma streams and the solar system's magnetic field. Spectroscopic data show that Atlas is ejecting material of unknown origin, possibly with interstellar or extragalactic traces. Atlas is currently still near Mars's orbit and is expected to leave orbit on November 23, approaching Earth's closest point on December 19. It's predicted most active phase. At that time, dust and plasma from Atlas can penetrate deep into the plasma environment of the solar system, creating a rare and unpredictable phenomenon in terms of energy. Astronomers are closely monitoring because late November to late December may be the time when 3I Atlas will have the most spectacular plasma display in recent years where it will interact strongly with the solar wind and cosmic electromagnetic fields. The biggest question right now is not just where 3i Atlas came from, but how it is affecting our perception and consciousness. When such a strange cosmic phenomenon appears, it seems to not only trigger scientific curiosity, but also awaken in people a deeper sense of connection with the universe. There are things we know rationally, and there are things we only truly know when we experience them. Atlas, with its mystery, is evoking the latter kind of experience, an intuitive, almost spiritual understanding that makes many people feel like they are witnessing something beyond the realm of pure physics. The widespread interest in 3i Atlas is not just due to the rarity of an interstellar comet. Perhaps it reflects humanity's underlying desire to reach beyond the limits of current perception and expand consciousness to the cosmos. Atlas is not just a physical object, but seems to be a catalyst for awakening, reminding us that Earth is just a small part of a giant energy network that stretches across space. Coincidentally, Atlas appears almost aligned with the ecliptic plane, only about five degrees off the same angle between the moon and earth. 
During the same period, the sun is also at its peak, erupting violent plasma storms, and the comet Borisov, another interstellar object, appears and then mysteriously disintegrates. All these successive phenomena make many people believe that the universe is awakening our awareness, opening a period when humans begin to feel more clearly the energetic connection between the sun, planets, and objects from far away from 2017 with Oumuamua to Borisov in Divetisoch, Devetnayest. Then three I atlas in 2025, interstellar objects appear more and more frequently and closer. This may be a result of modern observational technology, but it may also be a sign of an unfolding cosmic cycle as Earth and the entire solar system enter a new energy space. In fact, Atlas has been in the sun's heliosphere since 2020, moving from the edge of the system, more than 60 astronomical units away, without anyone noticing. It was only when it approached Jupiter's orbit in mid-2025 that we discovered its presence. So how many such objects are wandering around us undetected? How many interstellar messengers are cutting through the solar system, carrying energy, matter, and information from distant regions of space? The question is not only scientific, but also touches the depths of perception is the universe gradually revealing itself, gradually expanding human consciousness to prepare for a completely new era of cosmic awareness, the phenomenon of Comet 3, I Atlas, has now transcended the realm of science, becoming a topic of global interest. A U.S. Congresswoman even sent a letter asking NASA to release official images and Kim Kardashian also spoke up to ask, what is 3i Atlas? This interest shows that humans are beginning to reevaluate their place in the universe, realizing that Earth is just a tiny speck of dust in the vastness of space, and we are gradually awakening to understand the deeper connection with the universe. 3i Atlas is currently spewing powerful plasma jets while Comet Borisov has mysteriously disintegrated between Atlas and Earth, raising questions about the connection between them. Some theories mention Planet X, or even a distant binary star, that may be influencing the orbits of the comets, releasing them from the edge of the solar system. While many intriguing theories have emerged, most of the data still comes from amateur astronomers around the world and is confirmed as reliable real-life observations. Three, I-Atlas is not just an astronomical phenomenon, but a reminder of the connection between humans and the cosmos, opening up a new journey of exploration for human consciousness. If you want to follow this story as it unfolds, make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications for this channel. I will create follow-up videos as new data becomes available. Leave a comment below and let me know what do you think we will learn about this interstellar visitor? Will it survive perihelion intact? Or are we about to witness a fragmentation event? I have read all the comments and am really curious about your thoughts.